Hey there. So today I'm pretty excited. We are going to mash cube designs. It's 31864 and 94653. Both patterns you've seen me do something with before, but now we're going to make it into one bracelet. Let's hope this turns out all right. So um, yeah, let's go roll that intro. Hello and welcome, this is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and today, like I was saying, we're going to mash up a couple patterns. So one is this, and yes, we've seen these before, and yes, we've done other stuff with it, but today we're going to mix them up. So, um, rotation tool, and change this to 90 degree rotation. There we go. And then it's the sizing tool and just give the scroll wheel a spin. That looks fine. The moving tool. Mind you, I'm using GIMP. So if you've never done this before and you're interested in getting started, um, GIMP is free software. It's available for Windows, the um, Apple's computer, as well as Linux. So pretty much any computer you have, you can use GIMP. And it's free, and it's pretty easy, I'd say. It's, it's pretty nice software. All right, and this is the other pattern. So this one is what? 31864. Control-C. Control V. So Control C is copy, Control V is paste. In case you didn't know that, now you do. And whoops. Scale. So one of the things that we're gonna run into the problem is is obviously the very different colors in these two so we're going to have to kind of pick and choose how we're going to represent this and, and stuff but um so again you know this this first one my thought is it kind of looks like a bead so i'm thinking that it will make it look like there's a big bead in the middle followed by these smaller ones so we're going to kind of probably take primarily from these colors here i am however going to use my very dark blue because the I don't use the black. Oh, let's first start with the pink here, though. Let's grab this this really hot color here and oh <laughs> I didn't anchor the other layer so it won't let me do anything. Alright. So this is in the center, then it goes two and one. And we can pretty much see exactly how that's going to link together. So we might as well do that right now. So there it is. That's the center part. It's going to mirror on the other side. We can worry about that after. We've got this color now. And this one just kind of wraps around it. And then above does this little thing like that. So starting on the inside is a little bit easier than starting on the outside because you can kind of see how to wrap around it easier. Again, so in case you're new to this, watching me make bracelet designs, the reason I don't do black is if later on you want to change up the colors to be whatever combination maybe you want to turn this into you know blues or you want to turn it into reds or whatever it is the outer part of these boxes are in black so if one of the colors you choose is black you you change up the whole thing and that just kind of gets a little bit weird so it's easier to just use colors to represent whatever like in this case we're going to use dark blue and that way if later on somebody wants to change this they can so
and according to this it just closes on the other side so then it goes straight into essentially this diamond here so now well okay let's go ahead and do this outer color so last time we played with this shade of blue and it was really kind of difficult do we want hmm okay so here's my dilemma this is what i'm up against and this is where again you guys can totally come up with however you want um what is going to make up for this outside stripe that's that's a good question does that outside stripe come all the way up into this it could that actually might not be a bad idea um and then we have like the lighter color coming in does the lighter color become this or does this centerpiece this dark color become this one i would say this dark color becomes this blue in here so yeah let's do that so let's it does a little bump and then it goes almost to the outside all right and then it does the little bump and almost to the outside so let's see where this takes us and we can fill in the rest as we go oh look at this look at that i love it when it comes out perfect like this is this is ideal right we get all these we get three more beads at the end in this design over here oh oh i take it back we missed the little bump here it still turns out cool but we missed something hang on let me erase these i got ahead of myself that's okay we're we're still good it doesn't quite go to the edge if i could have added on one more row um i probably will I would have but yeah this turns out to be like just the right size for a bracelet so I'm gonna leave it like this that's okay though that's okay especially if we're gonna make this outer bit so let's let's use this blue even though it's a whole different purpose we're going to and if you look at this over here it basically just stays to the outside right if we use this and run this all the way straight down we can actually run it straight into that. So that's pretty cool. And we'll do the other side. Now, if you're kind of fair skinned like myself, you could do this in the tan and it would make it look like the bracelet's almost a little bit skinnier and then it gets, suddenly gets big for that centerpiece. That would be kind of cool. Um, so this color is too close to this color here. So we're gonna we're gonna do, I guess, this little lavendery, purpley color. So and that's just gonna do what it did in the other. And at some point here, I'm going to have to put in where all the underlying strings are to make sure everything matches up as it should. But looking at how these patterns are, that shouldn't be a problem. This color is a little too close to white. Let's do it's kind of a gross color, but OK, sure. And we might as well lock this in while we're at it you 
So we kind of know that certain ones like this have to go a certain way. Why? This color here had to go that way. And this one here had to go this way. It's just in order for the string to be there, that had to happen. Um, how it takes a turn up here is completely like the, the pink could go up here and out. It could go up this way over and out. Those that is not yet determined, even though we know this has got a corner right there. We don't know how that pink necessarily goes until we decide later on. And that decision might be made um, by what makes the most sense when trying to fit in something else, right? So we don't, it's not as clear cut as right here because we know that we need this color to be right there. So that's how I, that's how I work these things out is um, what is needed where and you know, because we're we already know what the pattern itself is going to kind of look like. It's just a question of how do we get the, the strings where they need to be. So yeah, so this dark color is going to look like the bead part. So this can be whatever. If you saw my uh my other live stream just recently, last Saturdays you will have seen how I changed up the bead colors to be what I wanted them to be and how that turned into something I, I think is pretty gorgeous. Um, so yeah, you, all these colors that I put down in here, this is strictly just for the purpose of creating the pattern. Um, I definitely recommend like finding your favorite colors or finding your favorite combination of colors and playing with that. And maybe you don't do that all the time. Maybe, you know, always doing your favorite color combination um, won't necessarily appeal to all of your friends, but that's okay. You know, um, find out what their favorite colors are and then make them something that uh, you'll both really enjoy. So as we get down here, I don't know what's going to happen with the yellow. It's kind of a yellow, right? It's sort of a, a mustard yellow. Ooh. Ooh, we have a problem. I did not realize this. Okay. So it turns out this color is this one. There's no way around it. That has to be this color. So again, the beads are going to be very color coordinated. That's interesting. So yeah, that sort of matches. Oh, and that probably means Let's take this hot one, see where it goes. Right, so yeah, this ends up being the, the dots there. Okay. Interesting. Right, so that's going to be bright and that's going to be bright. So there's, all right, I get it. That's kind of cool. And then we're going to have whatever the other color is. It's got green over here. Um, I'm just not feeling the green. I think it's going to, we're going to put these colors in its place instead of the green. Just because it'll kind of make this thing look a little bit better. And I think we might... So I'm going to show you something else cool. So this is select by color tool and we're going to take this color yellow that we have here and highlight it all. And 
what we got this color here let's make it somewhere in between sure then we take the paint tool and we say fill whole selection and when we do that we can change that off oh no not good control z that color is too close to this hot pink let's go let's go into a red there now we can differentiate them and it doesn't look like there's some weird color that doesn't fit in okay so now we have to make sure that when we're on the paint tool that we go back to filling similar colors all right now it's just a case of filling in all the rest of these things so think instead of keeping that blue out to the side each time oops control z that we'll bring it in one uh, 100% on this Let's see what we what the rest of these do. We need this color here. So we're well, let's do this one. We know this one has to come out here. So sometimes it's a question of finding the one that's easiest to do and then sorting out what's left. My one thing is, is that I just don't like when a string stays completely at the edge like that when you do the knots this, that way because it becomes kind of obvious. Like as you hold the bracelet, you can tell that it's a thing. So, um, oh yeah, see this couldn't do it because there'd be no other way for that color to get in there. So let's take these out for now. And let's figure out where this one goes. Right. So that's interesting. This is in order to get this color to fit in there, it has to kind of zigzag its way in. Okay. See, again, there's when I'm making my own patterns, I deliberately are moving colors a certain way to do whatever. When I'm trying to work with somebody else's pattern, I don't necessarily. Um, know how the strings get to where they're going to go um, I have to kind of go with the notion that it was kind of sorted out before so it of course it'll work so yeah Yeah. So we know that the string can make it all the way to there. Perfect. Um, do to do to do to do to do. And so that string comes out here. All right.
So now I'm just kind of looking at where I'm missing pieces and filling them in accordingly. Oops, wrong color. And I'm trying to follow what I did before because if it worked up there and I can work it out again, then that's what I kind of want to do. Oh, wait. All right, so now all I have to do is follow on the left side what I just did on the right. So I'm sorry, you know, one of the things I realized in making these videos is that if you are watching this on your phone, some of the little details of like where I'm pointing at things might be very difficult for you to see, and I'm sorry about that. I kind of am doing this on a big computer, so um, I had originally thought of everybody watching me on a computer. Um, I don't have any clever way, at least I haven't found one yet, of being able to point to the stuff to make it like any more obvious or... There we have it. Oops. Missed some dark blue right here. Again, if you notice, if we use really distinctly other colors, we will see when there is this blue left, and we will know that we still have something left to put in. So, yeah. So some of these are just going to have to stay at the edge. It just is what it is. It's part of how the the whole thing was designed. Mind you, it's 100% out on the other one. So, I mean, I kind of could have done that, but I kind of like the way the knots look when you do it better. See, I missed a pink ring here. So I'm hoping that these, this whole series of me creating patterns inspires you guys to creating patterns. I hope that you see that I try to take things into account like not having it, uh, a string always stay on the outside. Um, kind of got a little funny, didn't it? All right. So there we have it. The whole top half is done. Just check for, make sure that there's no errors. Yeah. You can zoom out and have a look at that. So yeah, one big bead and then three smaller beads. We have this other stuff going on out here we can play around like i said play with the colors this could be really cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to snap the select tool right onto the grid i'm going to narrow this in a little bit so we don't mess up the things on the side we control c control v and then we have the flip tool it's actually called the flip tool And then the move tool. Just slide this on down and get it to lock onto the grid here. 
I'm going to zoom in a bit and use my arrow key. Whoop, one too many to line it up. Layer, anchor layer. And there we have it. That's the whole bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. Um, I will be making this on the live stream on May 6th. So if you get a chance, come follow me over there and uh, see what colors I choose. Um, at this point, I have no idea. So that'll be something fun we can uh, explore together. So um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it, and uh, join me over on Patreon if you really want to help support the channel. All right. Thank you again for watching everything. And uh, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.